Okay. We're going to get into part five here. This is Lewis Thomas with Master Carpenter Series Part Five. Dealing with mixed pitches or bastard pitches, pitch roofs, okay? Dual pitch roofs, however you want to say it, all right? So we're going to get into some more intricacies. And I think before I should before I go any further, I need to establish with you all so you can have a good visual on some of the the techniques that I'm using and how I establish And, 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 and how I establish uh, it's the, the span of a roof. Okay, now, according to our example right here, right? According to our example right here that we have, we have a span, a half span. All of my spans do not include if you do this method do not include the ridge do not include a ridge so i'm going to show you what that i want to show you what i mean by that okay now look at this right here well i'm going to draw this over i'm just going to draw it over so it's neat it's no confusion and you can get a good example of what i'm talking about so let's 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 do this here. We're going to do this. And this is, I'm drawing this like we're looking down on the roof, okay? I'm drawing this as if we are in a helicopter and we're looking down on the roof, right? And I'm going to give you a good idea of what's going on here. And this is going to help out beginners as well. Now, now looking at, we're going to plug in some measurements here. So we see that we have one foot nine and I mean, 1.937. All right, that's to the ridge. So what we want to do is go half span because from here to here is half span. From here to here is a half. If it's just half of the roof, not including the ridge, the thickness of the ridge. So what we're going to do. So let's look at this. We got one point nine three seven. We're going to draw a line in the center here. All right. Let's see what this is here. That's three and a half. Okay, that's three and we're going to go about right here. Okay. And we're going to go down here. I'm just getting the center mark is, is all I'm doing now. Three and we're gonna go three and a half. All right, I'm just drawing this. Let's see, make sure we're right here. That's about center. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do that. Oh, okay, that. And then that's center right there. 
right? Just bear with me here. Bear with me. So all we're doing here is finding the center. That's all we're doing is finding the center. Now, what else we're going to do? That's the center of the ridge, right? That's the center of the ridge. Now what we're going to do is draw two more lines. And these lines are going to equal the thickness of the ridge. These lines are going to equal the thickness of the ridge. Okay? So, our, and our ridge is, for this example, we're just going to say an inch and a half. So, what we're going to do is write. We're going to just write a bracket here. And this is an inch. Write a bracket here. And this is one inch and a half. Okay? That's how thick this is. Now, on this side, on this side, from the building line, which is, represents this line, all the way to this, to, to this line here, that's up to the ridge, is 1.937. So we're going to put 1 1.9 1 1.937 and this is feet and this in inches is 2325 so we have put 23 point 25 inches okay so now that we established the half span of this building, we already know what the other side is. It's the same. It's going to be 20. It's going to be the same thing. The measurement for this side and the measurement for this side is exactly the same. OK, if you were. So now this view that we're looking at it here, the view that we're looking at this here is looking down at the top of the roof. But if we would look straight on at the roof. Just so I don't have to do too much unnecessary drawing because I've done this before. I believe I got something here. Okay, this is good. So, from here to here represents the building line all the way to the ridge. This center line represents this center line. And this line over here represents the other side that the the rafter butts up against okay so this is looking at it from the ground level this is the side of the building and this is the roof and you're looking at it from the side so you can see the thickness of you can you can see the thickness of the ridge this is the side of the building and this is the roof on it this is the thickness of the ridge you always got to deduct for the thick thickness of the ridge the ridge is not always an inch and a half. It depends on what the blueprints are calling for. You could have it's, it's it's all I can't it's all kind of thicknesses of ridges, but most of the time it is an inch and a half. I will say that. So now that we got that out the way, we got our half span. Okay. Now let me show you how I I I normally do this. I'm gonna give you all the little little ways that I do this. So, we know we know that this is 1.937, okay? So, we're going to multiply this by 2, okay? Times 2 equals. Now, that's feet. This is feet. This is feet. Okay. We're going to change this into inches by just multiplying it by 12. Equals. Now what we're going to do is add the thickness of the ridge, which is an inch and a half. 1.5 equals. 
Okay, I did something wrong. I, so, I forgot to press a button. 1.937 times 2 equals... I'm going to change this feet into inches just by multiplying times 12 equals. Then we're going to add that the ridge, which is an inch and a half, plus an inch 1.5 equals. So it's 47.98, which is basically 48 inches, okay? So what we're going to do, but we're going to write it down exactly the way it is. So what I'm going to do, we got our half span here, okay? Half span to the ridge. The half span to the ridge is 1.937, okay? But total span from end of building to end of building is this. 47.988, okay, inches. We could change this into feet just by dividing by 12 equals. So it's basically four feet, you know, it's, it's basically four feet. I mean, 33.9999 is, is, you know, that's four feet. So, so we see we got our 47.988. That's our overall span. Our half span is, well, our half span minus the ridge, which is an inch and a half, is 1.937. 1.937 or 23 and a quarter inches. All right? Now, 